Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NM Watch and I'm back with another watch collection revisited video, right? So this time, uh, so basically what I do in this uh, type of videos on this series of videos is that I take a look back at um, the watches that I've had or uh, that, I, that are still in my collection after wearing them for a few years. So basically I've bought this watch in 2018. The previous owner bought it, uh, bought it in 2014, so now it's 2022, so that means this one is already, okay, so uh, 8 years old, right, so I've had it for about 6 years, no, 4 years, <laughs> sorry, so that means, yeah, I've, all, I've had it for 4 years, but it is already an 8 year old watch, right, so how does it perform after a few years of wearing, and yeah, what are the things that I like, what are the things I don't like, so yeah, let's just crack on right so let's do a quick wristwatch check today i'm wearing my s n martin s n 017 and homage to a certain r brand which you guys already know what it is so if i am to buy the real thing it is going to cost me 40 to 50 thousand us dollars so i don't have the money to i i don't have that much money but even if i do i am not going to buy one watch for that right so Let's go for the uh, model number. This is called the Citizen NY004009W, right? So there's another version which is called the um, 004050W. That one came with the bracelet, but this one is on the rubber strap. So yeah, so this one is, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it a 09W, right? So let's do a quick dimension check. So let's just take the diameter so this one is huh that's weird 42 millimeters so that is good yep 42 millimeters on the bezel and also on the case oh come on man come on mr caliper don't do this to me yep let's just call it a 42 millimeters diameter and the uh, luck with sorry luck to luck is a very very compact 47 millimeters and the thickness right so the thickness uh, from the case back to the, to the so the bezel is about 13 yeah let's just call it 13 millimeters and the lug width is 20 millimeters right so and a crown size of about i think it's about 6.5 yep just under hmm, that's weird okay so that is six millimeters in crown size crown diameter all right so the way on this particular strap so i have no idea where i put the original rubber strap so this one we just you know let's just f do it flay like that so 89 grams so 90 grams so very very uh lightweight for a diver and um this is a legit diver guys because this is an iso certified diver right so the only other watch that is uh, certified ad ad other certified diver in this category in this price category is the Seiko SKX but that one is discontinued this one also I thought it was discontinued but apparently it was only discontinued in the Southeast Asia region I have no idea why because <laughs> whenever I in my previous video you talking about this watch when I say that this is already dis discontinued many many subscribers mentioned that amen we are able to get this blah 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 and it is not this in this discontinue you idiot or you you do your research research blah 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 come on guys so i'm just talking based on my experience here in malaysia so if you guys could get it in europe or in italy or wherever, wherever in the world part of the world oh, lucky you so good for you guys right so anyway um and also the ones the ones that you would find and on the european market market they are using the miota 8204 which is a hacking version of this uh, of this watch right so of, of the movement so this one is still using the old um, movement uh, which is called the 8203 right so if you guys manage to get this full loom down with a hacking hacking movement good for you just go go and grab it and don't ever sell it <laughs> all right so let's take a look at the aluminum bezel inserts here so i although i've owned this for about uh, four years already and even the previous owner owned it for four years than me longer than me so yeah you can see that the bezel uh, aluminum bezel insert is still looking good so 
I didn't really put uh, too much scratches on it I think so there's no visible uh, scratches on the bezel and even on the mineral crystal so there's no no nasty scratches whatsoever because me yeah, maybe because I have too many watches so I don't really <laughs> use them that much and yeah and the unique part about this particular bezel is that you can see that the what do you call this teeth here yeah? so it's not available on all part of the bezel so you can see the teeth part is on this portion and this one is brush again teeth brush teeth brush this brush so eventually if essentially you have to grab it on the area where we have the teeth <laughs> right so and you can see that is a 60 click bezel which i don't really mind because right hear that so it's a bit weird but it is absolutely spot on right so eat that Seiko right <laughs> yeah so um, although this is not a great bezel it is not as good as the 60 click bezel that you would find on the Tudor Black Bay but it is a good bezel nonetheless right so um, yeah nice okay so brush finishing on the top of the lurks and so sorry circular brush finishing and a polish finishing on the side of the case so yeah this is where you see tons of scratches available from my use and even it i think the previous owner <laughs> abused this thing a lot more than me wait until you see the case back right so yeah tiny scratches here but yeah it is a die for it's die for it is meant to be used so yeah i don't really mind the battle scars right right so um yeah let's get back to the dial right so it has that chapter ring uh on the side uh which uh you know what lines perfectly with the bezel and the hour marker on the 12 o'clock so again eat that seiko so why the heck Ah, I'm not going to be ranting about Seiko right now. Okay, so anyway, so uh, the dial, right? So it's a full zoom dial with a, I think they are using a C3 Super Luminova and the hour markers. Oh, the circular hour markers are, are, not, are printed in black. So it provides a great contrast and that super duper short um, hour hands is, yeah, it, it is a bit annoying in my opinion so you can see that uh, even yeah it just yep it is a bit too short in my opinion but still this is how they made this right so and the uh, minute hands you see that it it's quite too far away from the um uh from the minute markers here i you have to really guess is that a 10 8 is that a 10 9 so and when you put it like so the tip of the <laughs> the tip of the minute hand does disappear a bit so it's very very difficult to set a correct time but because this one is featuring a non-hacking movement so you don't you can't really set a, an accurate time either way so yeah <laughs> okay so um you know what let's just get out from the danger zone okay so that is good and let's just show you guys how to change the date wheel or the day and date so first click you can okay so yeah first let's just go to first click you can change the date and you change the day wheel so mine came with um i think a chinese writing i think three four fifth six and oh no this is a japanese definitely a japanese uh japanese date wheel and screwing it back in right so this one has features this uh, concave uh, type uh, type crown so you see that when i wanted to screw the crown back i have to use my right hand because i you know i i just can't i just can't uh, be i just can't get it right so it's quite difficult to use to screw it back in using my left hand is this just me right so just me okay so um printed citizen automatic on the top on the 12 o'clock diverse water resist 200 meters so basically this is a legit iso certified diver that is why they uh it is okay for them to use that word divers and we have a very very tiny oops super duper tiny um pro sorry <laughs> pro, pro master logo just under there right so yeah on the later version i think on the fugu version i think they've already rectified that to make it a lot bigger but yeah still let's just take it off the bracelet strap and see how it looks on the bottom of the uh, yeah, the case back of course feature this one is featuring a screw down crown citizen watch company water resist 200 meters meters 
that is the serial number um what are these huh i have no idea guys so uh, okay gn-4-s dash 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 i have no idea what that is so hst no idea 8203s0 <laughs> a very very long number there if you guys know what what are those numbers so please do let me know in the comment section below right so uh, since i can't really remember where i put the rubber strap so i put it on this awesome looking um stretchy native strap from san martin right so beautiful chunky buckle huh and with this awesome um movable keeper here but we're not going to talk about the strap right now but we are going to talk about the watch itself right so all in all very very nice uh, i think it is a keeper in my opinion so i've thought of I, you know many many times i've thought about selling this one but uh, <laughs> most of the uh, comments on my on my youtube mentioned hey man don't ever sell that watch so you're going to regret it uh, yeah maybe so right maybe so oh before i completely forgot let's just do a quick loom shot and where the heck is my uv torch uh, okay hold on guys yep i found it <laughs> okay so let's just give it a quick charge right so let's no let's just charge this thing too right the san martin okay you guys ready three two one boom oh wow right so this is how the full loom dial on the citizen pro master ny0040 dash 09w <laughs> looks in the middle of the nights if you compare it to the one on the san martin uh basically the ones this one stays longer all right so unfortunately for citizen or maybe unfortunately for us even um this full loom dial will not glow that long so it's quite annoying maybe because it is already an, an old watch uh, but still i would have I would hope I, I I am hoping that Citizen would improve this uh, formula because I just love this full loom dial, guys. So let's just put the watch. So put on the lights back and see how it looks on my skinny six point seven five inch wrist, right? So of course, it's it is going to perform nicely. It is going to fit nicely because of the short lug to lug of forty seven millimeters. I just love how it looks on my wrist because it is a smaller diver uh, lately i don't really pre i don't really like to wear a bigger diver because I, you know what i just prefer smaller watches this day so check that out guys of course the yellow color or this <laughs> uh, full loom dial is not for everyone but you know what you know what some yeah sometimes in the weekend i prefer to use this watch other than your usual black or green watch even green is quite <laughs> quite a, a different a, a, a you know what a unique color in my opinion right yeah but still you're not gonna be wearing this yellow <laughs> watch to work right so there you have it guys my take on this uh, awesome citizen ny 0040-09w after four years of ownership so if you guys have the exact same watch or something similar so please do let me know your own um, user user experience with this particular watch what do you guys think of it it is 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 it an awesome watch are uh, you really annoyed by that non-hacking movement so please do chime in the uh, in the comment section below so if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that really really helps guys so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye